Hi everyone, my name is Katie and today we will be talking all about exploration while we explore the Boundless Brilliance STEM workbook together. Adriana will talk to us about an amazing woman who is an explorer of the ocean and then she will lead us through a super cool science experiment from our STEM workbook where you get to create your very own compass. Finally, I'll lead us through an empowering activity that can be found in our STEM workbook as well. Check out the link down below in order to get your very own STEM workbook and get access to lots of science experiments and empowering activities. One of my favorite explorers is Sylvia Earle. She's an oceanographer, which means she studies the physical environment of the ocean. And she's known for looking at things like pollution and overfishing and how they affect our ocean. Her work has led her to explore all depths of the ocean. She's even studied how living underwater for long periods of time can affect humans. And she led the first all-female team to study this. They lived in an underwater structure for two weeks. Her expeditions and experiments have had huge impacts on our understanding of how humans interact with the ocean. All explorers and scientists, like Sylvia Earle, rely on scientific tools for their new discoveries and experiments. And one such tool that has helped explorers for centuries is the compass. The science behind how compasses work is actually really fascinating, so today we're going to make our own compasses to understand this. This experiment is actually featured in our workbook, so today we're going to go through this together and be sure to check it out in our workbook as well. For this experiment, you'll need a bowl of some water, some wax paper, a sewing needle, and a magnet. First, take your wax paper and cut a small hole about one inch in diameter. Next, get out your magnet and the needle and rub the needle along the magnet in one direction about 50 times. After you've gone 50 times in one direction, flip the needle over and slide the needle along the magnet in the opposite direction. 50 more times. Next, take the circle of wax paper you cut and thread the needle through the wax paper, leaving a little bit of the needle sticking out of both sides of the wax paper. Next, we're going to place our needle in the bowl of water. But before we do this, I want you to take a minute to make a hypothesis about what you think will happen. If you have our workbook, go ahead and take it out, and you'll see a place to write this down. If not, take a random piece of paper you have at home and write down your hypothesis. Get out your bowl of water and place the compass on the water. You should see the compass float and begin to turn. The direction it turns towards is north. So, how does our compass work? Well, when we rub the needle with the magnet, some of the magnetic field gets left behind on the needle. And when we place our compass in the water, we remove friction, which allows the Earth's magnetic field to pull on the opposite ends of the needle, moving the needle so that it points towards the north. Now that we have our compass to navigate with, let's turn towards Katie for an empowering activity. In this activity, we are going to reflect on what we currently know and what we would like to learn more about in the future. This will give you a visual representation of what you know, what you want to know, and what you've already learned. First, start off by finding a blank wall. Using sticky notes, create three categories. Know, want to know, and what I learned. Then, choose three sticky notes of the same color. Think of a topic that interests you. Write something you already know about that topic on one of the sticky notes. Write something you want to know on the second. Leave the third sticky note blank for now and fill it in later once you've learned something new about the topic. Place each sticky note in the corresponding column on the wall. As you learn things from your want to know column, move those sticky notes to the no column. When you move a sticky note, write a new sticky note for something else you want to learn. Write as many sticky notes as you like. Also, write any additional information that you learn in the what I learned column. Add new sets of sticky notes as you find new topics that interest you. Watch your wall change over time as you learn more and more. Make sure to check out the Boundless Brilliance workbook titled, We Are Brilliant, a STEM workbook for future leaders for more experiments and empowering activities. 
Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe as it really supports our channel. Bye everyone.